Hey guys, it's Spy Cat, and today I'm finally going to be showing you my baseball movie collection. My collection about on baseball movies that's a collection, and they're about baseball, and you guys get my freaking point. Let's just get this thing started. I'll start it off with my drama baseball movies. So to start this thing off, Ty Cobb, Tommy Lee Jones plays Ty Cobb, one of the most racist, asshole baseball players of all time, pretty much. And, um... This is a great movie, one of my favorites. This is my grandpa's favorite movie, too. And um, I used to watch it with my grandfather. He um, pitched to Joe DiMaggio um, back in his uh, childhood and stuff. Or he was an adult. He DiMaggio was younger. He would teach him how to play baseball in uh, the sunset. But um, great movie, Ty Cobb. Best movie of all time. One of the best. Um, League of Their Own came out in uh, 93. One or something like that. A uh, great movie. This is more. It says it's a comedy drama, but it's actually a drama. This is a great movie. Um, it's got the booklet in there and everything. Gina Davis, Tom Hanks. Just a great baseball movie. Have to have that in your baseball collection. This is another one. A uh, great one. Field of Dreams. James Earl Jones. Kevin Costner. Have to have every Kevin Costner movie there is. This also also has Burt Lancaster, one of my favorite actors of all time. Just a great movie. And um, this is the double disc edition. As you guys could see, two discs on that. Pretty cool. Also got The Natural with Robert Redford. Uh, great movie. Um, another one in the 90s. In fact, all the great baseball movies were all done in the 90s. If you guys didn't... Uh, I mean, they just were. Like, all the baseball... The early 90s just had, was the best, they made the best freaking baseball movies of all. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Just check it out. All the movies I'm showing, 80% of them are 90s movies. You just watch. Um, let's see. Mickey, this is an Anchor Bay movie. Haven't watched this one. Just have it in my collection. Need to watch it. It's Anchor Bay, so it's out of print. Um, it's got, even it's got a booklet, cool DVD right there. Next one I got, Jackie Robinson. This is a really cool case. Uh, kind of a rare movie. This came out in uh, 2001. The story about Jackie Robinson. I love the case that it's like, um, you know, it's got that. Probably got something behind there. But this is a good one. Have to watch that. That was like 2001. They didn't really make any good baseball movies after like the 90s. Just killed it in baseball movies. Pastime. This movie is another one that I think is... Done in the 90s. Uh, Miramax put this one out. Haven't watched this one yet, but it's in my baseball collection. Uh, in my collection, so I need to watch this one. Definitely need to watch this one. This one seems like a really good movie. Next movie I have is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. Babe, I loved his whole story. He grew up in institutions, institution, same as me. Um, he was a real troublemaking kid, and um, he became became the best baseball player of all, all time, pretty much my favorite. I used to read these novels about him and everything. He's the man. Um, and this is the best movie of all time. One of the best baseball movies of all time. Hands down, John Goodman. This is John Goodman's best fucking role ever, I think. Me personally, his the role in this movie, he just kills it. And it's just a great baseball movie. Um, superb. <laughs> Superb. I don't even know if this is on Blu-ray. But this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Final Season. Sean Astin's in this one. This is kind of a drama family. Uh, a little hint of comedies in it. But um, it's a good movie. This was a later movie done in uh, 2008. Or 2007. Um, but this is a good movie. I like Sean Astin. I collect all uh, Sean Astin movies and stuff. But this is a good one. I don't remember much about that one. Uh, Albert Brooks, The Scout, another early 90s movie. This one came out in uh, 94. Um, Albert Brooks, I collect every single movie that Albert Brooks has in my collection. But this is a great one. Um, the Scout, Albert Brooks, Brandon Fraser. Um, just a great movie. And notice how all the discs are, there's a lot of them that are like baseballs, obviously. <laughs> Um, for the love of the game, Kevin Costner. This is a great fucking movie. I love this movie. Um, 
really great uh, comedy drama, more along the lines of a drama movie, romantic drama. It's supposed. It says it's like a romantic comedy drama, but it's like I think it's more drama, romantic drama. And this is a great love story. I love this movie. I collect every Kevin Costner movie there is um, in my collection. Just how I do it. Kevin Costner is the man. Dances with Wolves, one of my favorite movies of all time. Have so many different versions of that. <laughs> but uh, definitely have to have for the love of the game. Great movie. And I saw this in the theater when it came out. Uh, early 2001 or something, or uh, 2000, 1999 or something. But uh, Keanu Reeves, um, Hardball, this is a great early... They had some good movies in the later 1990s and 2000 movies, now that I'm th seeing these movies. <laughs> Hardball's one of them, came out in 2001. Great movie, Keanu Reeves uh, plays the guy who has to coach these trouble. Uh, kind of, they're in like a bad neighborhood um, type of kids... I'm all stoned. You guys know what I'm talking about. Great movie. I love this movie, Hardball. Great movie. Um, one of my favorite baseball movies of all times. I have both versions of this movie. I have the second release. Both of these are good times, but the snapback came out first and came out the plastic one. Love this movie to death. Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball. The snapback one always has a cool different picture on there. Just scratch my freaking nose. Jeez, what's wrong with it? But now that's... And this is kind of comedy. We're getting towards kind of the comedy. But this has a, a drama feel to it. To me. Um, and I love this movie. This is a great movie. He couldn't hack it in the major leagues. So they, they send Tom Selleck to Japan to play in one of the leagues over there. And then he can come back to the major leagues. And he just builds a relationship with a girl in Japan. Builds a good friendship with those guys. Kind of doesn't want to leave Japan and go back to the major leagues like he started to want to uh, do before he like got the girl and started liking Japan and all that shit. Why am I talking this much? Halfway done. Now we're on my comedy movies and family baseball movies. Major League. Have to have this one in your collection. Charlie Sheen. Great movie. Original cover. I also have the second release that came out. The one that has the alternate ending and a couple deleted scenes. And a whole bunch of special features on this thing. So I got both versions of that. Uh, Major League 2. Snapback case. Tom Berenger. Charlie Sheen's in this one. Great movie. That one's not a baseball though. But still a great movie. Great comedy movie. Next comedy movie guys. Beer League. Gotta have this one. Got the Karate Kid dude in it. Artie Lang. I collect every movie of both those guys. Um, this is a great movie. I watched this like countless times. I'm Italian. This is an Italian Guido fucking WAP type of movie. And I'm a fucking WAP. So, uh, hey, to my Italian brothers out there, Beer League is your type of movie. One of my favorite movies. Double Disc Edition. Boom, boom. Looks like it's got the, uh, another, well, was that a baseball? Oh, no, that was like a jersey. I thought it was a baseball. But, um, anyway, guys, next movie I have, Brusker's Millions. Um, if I remember, this isn't like a baseball movie, like, it isn't like a baseball movie. The movie isn't, like, directed at, like, baseball and this. But, like, I just remember that there's kind of baseball in this movie. I think, um... He, like, buys the team. He wins some money somehow or some shit. Great movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. I need to catch up and watch this puppy because uh, I, I shouldn't have forgotten this movie as much as I have. And this is an 85 movie, too. Great movie. John Candy, RIP to him. But Brewski's Million. This is the best fucking baseball movie of all time. Uh, Bench Warmers. David Spade's in this. Napoleon Dynamite dude's in this. Rob Schneider's in this. They did a great freaking job in this movie. John Lovitz is in this movie from High School High. Um, this is a great, great, great freaking baseball comedy movie to have in your collection. Dream Team. Kind of like Brewski's Millions. It's not really about baseball. But this is more about baseball than Brewski's Millions is as a movie. Um, if that makes any sense by my stoner ass trying to tell you that. Um, Dream Team. 
these guys are all in a mental uh, mental hospital. They all live there, and then they finally get to go on this field trip to New York City and check out the uh, Yankees. I think I think it's the Yankees, or no, maybe it's the Mets. I think it's the Mets. But um, it's a great movie. The one staff member driving the van gets robbed, and they're stranded in New York City. This is a great movie, and they all play mental m mental people. Uh, Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, I forgot the name of that actor, this guy, these two, um, Peter Boyle, uh, Stephen First, I guess are these two guys, I'm not really a fan, but they're still good in this movie. Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, great movie. Anyway guys, Fever Pitch, I just got that on my random pickups today. I, I have this cam camera angle, so I'm making some videos now while my... Uh, well, my brother and his girlfriend are, are, are out because then I could kind of be more louder and, and talk more and stuff. But maybe I'm talking too loud. <laughs> anyway, guys, Fever Pitch, baseball movie. I like this movie. It's kind of a romantic comedy drama a little bit. Um, great movie. Drew Barrymore. I like this movie. Next movie I have, this is the best... Uh, this is the best old school classic baseball movie there is. Walter Matthau, collect every movie him. Same with Jack Lemmon, uh, Clint Eastwood, all those guys. Burt Lancaster, that's how I roll. Um, this is a great movie, Bad News Bears, Walter Matthau. It came out in 1976. But as you guys, guys can see, that all the good baseball movies that I have are all kind of mostly 90s movies. Um... Angels in the Outfield, 90s movie, early 90s movie, great movie of all time, I love this shit. Angels in the Outfield, Joseph Gordon-Levy, one of his first movies, Disney movie, great freaking movie. Rookie of the Year, part of the family feature collection, I own everyone except for a few, uh, being a crazy collector that I am. Rookie of the Year, best movie of all time, my childhood, your childhood if you're an 80s baby like me. Um... Got some booklet crap in there. Still got the paper thing in there. I like how it adds that. That's a cool picture of uh, the Rookie of the Year. <laughs> I love that actor, by the way. I just don't know the name off the top of my head. Uh, the Sandlot. Great movie. I love these movies. I was a little dark-skinned tan kid myself. And these kids were tan. So, uh, yeah. I love these movies in the 90s, guys. My favorites, definitely the Sandlot, freaking Rookie of the Year, top two for me in my childhood. Above the next ones that I'm going to show you. I also have Sandlot 2, I don't care about that, it came out like 12, 13 years after Sandlot, I care less. But being a collector and a completist, I have to have this in my collection. Same with the third Sandlot that came out. And there might even be another one. And the good thing about the third Sandlot, I think there might be four, but I think this is three. The good thing about this one is it has the childhood actor from my childhood. This dude, he's in a lot of old childhood movies. I think he's in the Sandlot, I think. Maybe he's not. I think he is. But um, this dude, right there. But, you know, they're, they're still good as a collector, I need them in my collection, two and three, but I don't like them as movies. Last movie I have, guys, or I have two, you guys got to remember Little Big League. My Childhood, another early 90s movie. Great movie. As you can see, it's the old snapback case. I'm liking it. He's like the new coach on the team. They have to listen to him for some reason. I forgot why. But this is a great movie when I was a kid. I love this movie too. But uh, I guess those might have been my top three childhood movies were those when I was a kid. Um, Ed, I got this four pack just for the movie Ed, as you guys could see. Ed's about a chimpanzee playing fucking baseball for some reason. I liked it when I was a kid for some reason. And uh, I'd rather find this singly as a single DVD being a collector that I am. Um... But still, I got it on this four-pack, so this will do for now. But um, that's my baseball collection, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I hope you got, use guys enjoyed it um, by this Italian freak here and uh, by this Italian wop right here giving you my DVD collection of my baseball movies. So I'll see you guys next time. 
The next DVD collection I have coming to you is going to be my, well, I'm doing my sports movies, I guess, now. So I already did my baseball. Next one is going to be my basketball, football, hockey, those type of drama movies, little pile like this. Um, then I'm going to do my big pile of boxing movies, and I'll throw in a couple wrestling and weightlifting movies in there uh, to show you guys. Um, and then, you know, I'll just do section by section of my movies, and I'll be thinking all kinds of shit, going on random pickups and, and out and abouts and all that crap, and, and subscribe to me and watch me. And I don't do it for the money. I do it for you collectors. I'm addicted to collecting. I waste all my money on this shit. I mean, look at my freaking collection of um, baseball movies that I just showed you guys today. And that one's upside down. You know, I mean, wow. Who has all these fucking movies on baseball? You know, I mean, it's just ridiculous that I have all these movies on baseball. And I'm liking that I have this new phone. It's giving me a good thing. I have two free hands. I can show you, do this and shit. Snap that. Wasn't supposed to drop that Mr. Baseball movie. Still intact. You drop those snapback cases, and it's like a wrap. It's like it, I, I mean, it's done. Like seven out of ten times. If you drop one of the snapback cases, the middle part is done. It's a done deal. And the way that it's made, um, you're not going to fix it. It's just going to suck. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. I like the, that I have this new camera angle. I can actually do shit like this. But as I was saying, guys... That's what I just showed you of all my baseball movies. That's my big ass baseball movie collection. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe to Spy Cat. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, F you. Don't watch me if you don't uh, like me, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's my baseball movie collection. Have a good one. I can do that because I have the phone facing me. I used to, I used to be like this. Random pickups, guys, episode thing. I got this, I got this movie, I got this movie, you know, right there. Here's my phone. I'm recording my phone. You see, this is the, what I'm trying to imply to you guys is... This video probably could have dealt without the last two minutes of me talking like a dumbass. But, um, that's Spy Cat, guys. That's me. I'm nuts. And stay tuned next time for my sport, rest of my sports movies and my wrestling collection. And uh, that's it, guys. Have a good one. See you guys next time.